What's up, you guys? It's your boy Sean Kelly back here again, aka the 2000s kid. Um, so check this out. In this video, I'm actually gonna tell you why I changed my name to the 2000s kid, early 2000s kid. Um, I'll tell you why. Well, um, see, back in okay, sorry. <laughs> I was born in 2002, so I was not the early 2000s. I was more like a late, late, mid. Probably like midway 2000s, um, the area I grew up with. Um, so I grew up on like Disney Channel, like Dazzle Raven, Drake and Josh. Um, what else? Uh, I grew up with um, freaking uh, Cory in the House, um, and a couple others. Like uh, I think there was a couple other Disney channels uh, that I can't think of right now, but. Um, so, yeah, so I grew up in 2002. Um, I don't remember 2002 or 2003 that much because I was born. So I kind of remember 2004 up to period time. So um, the reason why I wanted to change my name to the 2000s kid is because I, um, well, of course, I was born in the early 2000s. And by the way, I love the uh, early 2000s look. I just like uh, the style of them, um, the cool phones that they used to have back then, the cool jerseys, the cool fashion, just everything back in the, even the cars, even like the basketball, even like what the basketball players used to drive back in the early 2000s. Um, don't get me wrong. I love this. Uh, I love this, uh, era. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love my area, uh, my, like, uh, this era. Um, but uh, I more like the early 2000s era just a little bit more than I like the previous era now. Um, uh, so, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a 76ers jersey. I'm going to go over my outfits. Oh, for this, I'm sorry. Yeah, for this video, I'm going to go over my outfit my and a couple of things that were back, sort of back in the, nine, 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 uh, like the early 90s to the early 2000s. Uh, oh, okay, guess there's no way. Uh, anyway, okay, so back to my outfit. I am wearing a 76ers jersey. This is Iverson. If you guys don't know who Iverson is, Allen Iverson, he was a very, he was a, he's a basketball player that he played for the seven, he went to, um, for college, he went to George, Georgetown, uh, college, uh, in Washington, D.C., um, then he got traded to the 76ers back in 1994 um, and played up there until 2005. And then he got traded to the Denver Nuggets. Um, so this is their, this is the 76ers, um, 2001 Jersey. This is the home look, uh, I mean the home Jersey. You have Sixers up here with the little ball, with the little swish or swoosh with the ball number three. And of course you have three and Iverson on the back. So there you go. Then the hat I am wearing. This is here. Let me get up closer. This is a Sean John hat. If you guys don't know who Sean, what uh, Sean John's is, uh, it is P Diddy's. Um, it is P Diddy's uh, clothing line, and I wear a lot of Sean John uh, fashion because um, duh, my name is Sean, <laughs> and um, uh, and I like I love uh, P Diddy. So um, that's another uh, cool thing. Also, I don't really have these, but I used to have these, and I don't know why I got rid of them. But, um, in 2005, five or six, I can't remember, in 2005 or six, my dad bought me these awesome basketball shoes, um, that I would just play in, I wouldn't play basketball in them, but, um, <laughs> these were these, um, shoes that, um, these basketball shoes that have spinners on them, like a spinner rim on it, and, uh, every time you walk, you would, um, the spinner inside the shoe would spin, and it was from a basketball uh, player by uh, let what's what's the name? I have it right here. La, uh, uh, Latour Spenwell, La, Laroy Spenwell. Oh, Laroy Spenwell, um, who played for the New York uh, Knicks, the Denver Nuggets. Oh no, no, the New York Knicks, the Washing, uh, the uh, Warriors, and the um. Um, the Timberwolves back in uh, 2005. 
Um, so there's going to be a picture right here for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, I used to wear those type of shoes back in, uh, back in my day. So, um, oops. So I'm going to get started with my, um, with the nineties stuff. I'm going to go into like the late, I only, the only reason why I have like a little bit of nineties stuff is because they used to use this back in the early two thousands as well. But, um, yeah, so I'll get started right here. This is a pager. If you guys don't know what a pager is, this is what it uh, was before cell phones. Um, the reason why I have one is because I have this for my job, and um, the re uh, reason uh, yeah, the reason why I have one is because it's um, uh, yeah, it's for my job, and I work at a detail shop, so I go to school, and then uh, I can't really answer my phone, so I just have this, and all you do is you flip this switch over here. And it turns on and it will beep and when I get a page it was it'll do that beeping sound there's also a flashlight so in the dark you can see um, uh, so it's nothing really nothing really crazy but uh, it's a cool thing to have uh, a lot of my teachers at school always laugh about it because this is what they used to have uh, back in the day so um, yeah it's pretty cool so there's a pager uh, this came out, this was big in like the 1992, and it was also big in the early 2000s, like 2001 and 2002. Um, then after those pagers came out, we had like the little, uh, we had this little pager. Oops. Did it die? Okay, I think it died. Uh, I think I just need to change the batteries. But uh, we had this little pager. Um. It was a two-way pager. This was the first two-way pager, I believe. Whoops. Ah. So it came with like a little screen and a keyboard. And then what you would do is uh, when you get a page, uh, if you didn't have that page, if you got rid of that page and you got this new pager, it would get a page and it would beep and make like a sound and everything. So it's pretty cool. This came out in like 2000. This was big in 2001. And uh, I think this was big this this was big to 2001 until 2005 until i'll show you uh the next pager that came out but this was uh this was whoops <laughs> this was this was big um back in the day okay so the re okay so i have two of these actually okay um so back in 2005 uh Motorola came out with the new um uh, with a new two-way um pager um this is called the page writer 2000x um so this as you can see it is so much bigger than the other one uh comparison um i have two because uh I, well, i'll just tell you this one came out in 2005 and this one came out in 2006 which you can see this is one this one is much smaller than this one um or just like a little smaller this one's bigger this one's a little bit smaller but um uh, so anyway, yes, Verizon and Motorola teamed up and came out with this brand new and came out with this in 2005. Uh, this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, you have a way bigger key, uh, keyboard space and a way bigger screen. So uh, that's what it looks like. Um, so, yeah. Uh, these used to be my dad's, and then he gave it. He gave me them uh, just so I can keep this to have. And then this one I actually use. This one is uh, this is also for. So when I get a page, I can use this to see uh, what car I have to pick up or what pages my boss sent me. But as you can see, this one actually does work, and there there look like on the inside. This is a 2006 one. It's the same. It's the same thing, just a little smaller. Um, and uh, everything you can check your time and stuff. Pretty cool. Light comes on. Put, put the brightness down on my computer so you can see the light. See, and then you can turn it off. So, um, oops. Ah, there you go. Uh, the two Motorola, uh, Motorola's, uh, two way, uh, page writers. Okay. Okay, so then after the pay after those, um, was this? Uh, this was uh this was my dad's. Uh, he had this and then he gave it to me. Um. 
Uh, this is a Verizon. I forget which Verizon this is actually. Do they say it on the pack back here? No. Okay, but anyway, uh, this is one of the old cell phones back in like 2006 that they used to have. Uh, it comes with a little antenna. And uh, this is the keyboard. I mean, up uh, where you type in your name, uh, your uh, numbers and stuff. And uh, it's very really cool. Um, I actually like this. Um, uh, my dad loved this phone uh, when it was big back then. And then uh, gave it to me when uh, he got an upgrade. So uh, I like that. I like this. I like that. <laughs> then we come to sort of the 2007, 2008 uh, genre um, where I was, I think I was in, I was in elementary school and um, uh, my sister, so the good thing about me and how I was born in the early 2000s it, um, is that I also had a sister who was born in 1992 and she had like all this cool stuff from like the 90s and the early 2000s. So, um, but anyway, here is, this is my sister's phone. She gave it to me just to have. Um, but here is the Verizon LG Slidekick. Um, the reason why it's a Slidekick is you'll see in a second. Um, you have this, uh, you have your camera back here. And the reason why it's called a Slidekick, well, it's not really a slide, but um, it, it flips up. So it goes like that. And then you have a full keyboard here. And you also have a antenna, which is some. Oh, here we go. And then pull all the way up. And then I think there we go. Or yeah, like that. And then uh, when you're talking, you can have this up uh, that way. And then it should. Yeah, there you go. And then, yeah. Um. So yeah, so it it came with uh, uh, a really big screen and then you can type on here, text your friends and emails and stuff, uh, which was pretty cool. So um, that's that. And then also you have these buttons on the side, like you could take a picture and stuff, like a selfie and stuff and cool stuff. So. Now I wanna get sort of into the jewelry. Uh, what was big back then, which was, um, I just got this for Christmas, as you guys can see in my last couple videos, I was showing it off. But uh, this is uh, my watch, and I always wanted one of these watches because every basketball player and a rapper had this watch back in the early 2000s. But this is called a Jacob. Uh, it's a Jacob. Uh, it's very nice. It's sort of, it's a, uh, it doesn't really look like, it doesn't um, have this, like, uh, what do you call it, a sweatband. Um, but I got it just, uh, just because... Uh, I like I like how like it can like you could just put it on. Here you can put it on and it like you move around and it doesn't even move around and stuff. So that's why I really like it. Um. Anyway, um, you can see it has uh, um, uh, a very nice face to it. And these uh, the red, the blue, and the yellow. Uh, those are times around the world. So down here you got Tokyo. Up there you have uh, I think that's Paris. And over there you have LA. And then uh the big one is where you are now. So um as you guys know, I live in Philadelphia, so it is 1208 here. So then um this was really huge back in the early 2000s. I remember everybody used to have either ro ride on these with their cars or wore them in as jewelry, or like I said. Had them in basketballs or uh, their basketball shoes but this here is a spinner pendant of my chain um it is very nice it does spin um this was uh spinners were really big back in the day uh, i believe like that 2000 9, 1999 to like 2006 um um uh, a lot of people had uh just rims in general not even spinners just like uh, a lot of, I remember like a lot of people down south like put rims on their car like 20s, 22s, 26s and stuff. So um, yeah, so these were big back in the day. So yeah. But anyway, okay guys, so that's going to complete this video. Hope you guys like it. Um, for now on, it's going to be Sean Kelton, the, aka the 2000s kid. 
I uh, hope you guys like that name. If uh, I, I like it, so um, anyway, so I'll talk. To, uh, see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for giving me 106 subscribers already. I uh, really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.